Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell. Today we're going to look at how to do reducers in OpenMP. So I've got some code here and I'm creating an array and I'm filling it with some numbers. Uh, the array is 100 million in length and what I'm going to do is fill it alternating ones and twos. Uh, I'm going to use an I% percent two to give me zero or one and then I'm going to add to it. So what that means is uh, half of the numbers in the array will have one and half of them will be two. So if we add up all the members of the array, we should end up with 150 million. So let's first do a, do a summation, the, the serial version. And then we'll look at how to use OpenMP to make that parallel. And then we'll look at why uh, we need to use what are called reducers. So let's go ahead, make a sum equals zero, and we'll do a i equals zero to i less than size, and i plus plus. And we'll just go ahead and sum plus equal a i. So that'll just add up all the members of the array. And that's just a serial version, and we'll print out sum. And we'll go ahead and build this. And then we'll go ahead and run it without debugging. And there we go, 150 million. So let's let's try and do a parallel version of this. Now the problem we run into when trying to do this in parallel is right here when we take the sum and add on the next one, if we have two threads that simultaneously get the current sum and then add on their next value, for instance, let's say in our array there's we're in the middle of it and let's say we're using other numbers here and then say there's a three and a five next to each other and the um, current sum is 10 and one thread's going to add the three and the other thread's going to add the five. Uh, occasionally they may both simultaneously get the current value of sum which is 10 and then the first uh, thread adds three to get 13 and the second thread also thinks it's 10, doesn't know it's been bumped up to 13, and adds 5 to get 15. And then one or the other might save their value back into uh, the sum first, and then the second one. And let's say the one with 5 added it second, the sum is now 15 instead of 18. It's a race condition. And that's what we're trying to avoid here. So what we do is we use what are called reducers. With reducers, uh, each thread gets its own copy of the sum, and then at the end, all those uh, individual copies of the sum are added together to get the final sum. And that's pretty easy to do in OpenMP. Uh, first, we, we go ahead and write a loop, just like we did a moment ago here. And we do the same thing, sum plus equal a i. But this time, we go ahead and put our OpenMP pragma in here. And we say OpenMP parallel for just like we're doing any other loop. Uh, but this time we tell it that we want to do a reduction. We want to use a reducer on the var variable sum. And we type reduction. And we, we, we give the operator that we're using. In this case, we're adding. So we, we put a plus symbol. And then we put a colon and then the variable we're doing the summation on. So let me reset our sum back to zero up here and build it. And now just a quick point here. Earlier as I was putting this together, I had forgotten to set OpenMP on language Intel C++, and that'll give you an error that looks a little odd. I'll show you what that error is. It'll say that you've got an unrecognized OpenMP pragma. And the, the, the problem is we don't have OpenMP turned on. And so that error message isn't particularly clear. And so if you see that, go ahead and go into the reader properties to language Intel C++ and turn OpenMP support to generate parallel code. And let's go ahead and run this. I'll go ahead and take out the serial version since we're not using that now. And we'll go ahead and build it. Now we you have to be careful here. I'm only using in here. Uh, if we got two bigger numbers, you'll want to use a long or a long, long. And go ahead and build this. 
and run it. And there we go. It's hard to see because the processor is pretty fast and it flew th through this array pretty quickly, but it was indeed faster. Uh, if you're on a machine with a lot of memory, like in my last video, we had 16 gigabytes and you could uh, create a massive array and actually do some timing on it and you'll see that it does go faster. For me, I could see it definitely went faster than just the serial version. So that's how you do use reducers. There are other ways you can get around this problem as well that uh, uh, working at the processor level and using what are called atomic operations, which is something we will be exploring in the blog this, this month. And that's it.